Today we've got a jam-packed episode, touching on three major topics, Clearview AI's facial recognition technology used by U.S. police, the AI think tank calling GPT-4 a risk to public safety, and the risk and reward of using chat GPT in cybersecurity. Let's dive right in and explore the fascinating world of artificial intelligence. As you already know, chat GPT is incredibly versatile and can perform tasks that are light years ahead of your average chatbot. With great power comes great responsibility, and that's where cybersecurity comes into play. The big question is, can ChatGPT be both an ally and a threat in the world of cybersecurity? On the positive side, ChatGPT can help in a variety of ways. It can spot phishing attacks, allowing employees to identify malicious content more efficiently. It can also assist junior security workers by helping them understand their tasks and communicate more effectively. Moreover, it can help under resource teams to stay updated on the latest threats and pinpoint internal vulnerabilities. Unfortunately, cybercriminals have recognized the potential of chat GPT as well. They can use it to generate malicious code, create human-like content for phishing, and even mimic legitimate AI assistance on corporate websites. This opens up a new world of possibilities for cybercriminals to exploit vulnerabilities more effectively. So, if cybercriminals are using chat GPT to their advantage, it's essential that cybersecurity teams do the same. Choosing the right security provider is crucial, as they should be continuously researching the latest technologies and understanding how they can be used for both offense and defense in the cyber realm. OpenAI's most recent release, ChatGPT4, aims to make their conversational model safer and more powerful. They've introduced additional controls to prevent misuse, and have also focused on making the model less likely to respond to requests for disallowed content, while improving factual responses. To prevent the misuse of ChatGPT, OpenAI has implemented access controls, monitoring and detection systems, ethical guidelines, user education, and legal consequences. By combining all these measures, OpenAI aims to ensure the responsible and ethical use of their technology. While OpenAI continues to improve the safety and alignment of ChatGPT, it's important to remember that cybercriminals will always be looking for ways to exploit new technologies. As the model becomes more widely used and understood, it's crucial for organizations and individuals to stay vigilant and keep up with the latest advancements in AI and cybersecurity. The Center for Artificial Intelligence and Digital Policy, or CAPE, has filed a complaint with the FTC against OpenAI, claiming they violated Section 5 of the FTC Act due to deceptive and unfair practices. Mark Rottenberg, founder and president of CAPE, wants the FTC to investigate OpenAI and GPT-4, asserting that it's biased, deceptive, and a risk to privacy and public safety. GPT-4 system card, released by OpenAI, acknowledges the model's potential to reinforce biases and worldviews, including harmful stereotypes for marginalized groups. The CAPE claims OpenAI released GPT-4 without an independent assessment of its risks, and they're calling for the FTC to take action. GPT-4's potential harmful outcomes include advice or encouragement for self-harm, graphic content, harassing and hateful content, content useful for planning attacks or violence, and instructions for finding illegal content. The CAPE believes OpenAI should not have released GPT-4 to the public without necessary safeguards in place. Last week, the FTC warned American AI product companies that they must implement built-in features to deter misuse and protect users. CAPE's filing calls on the FTC to investigate OpenAI and other powerful AI systems, prevent further commercial releases of GPT-4, and establish guardrails to protect consumers, businesses, and the marketplace. Meanwhile, a petition to pause the development of AI systems more powerful than GPT-4 has gained signatures from Elon Musk, Steve Wozniak, and other AI experts. However, other high-profile figures argue that progress shouldn't be slowed or halted. As AI advances, concerns over potential risks and biases are growing. Organizations like CAPE, UNESCO, and the Future of Life Institute push for ethical guidelines and regulations to protect the public and ensure responsible AI development. UNESCO has called for countries to implement its recommendation on the ethics of AI framework. Italy has banned chat GPT, citing concerns over data protection and personal information collection. The European Union is working towards a strict regulatory environment for AI, contrasting the UK's lighter approach. Tim Wright, a specialist tech and AI regulation lawyer, suggests that the UK sector-by-sector approach may set it apart from the EU's rulebook and liability regime. The debate around AI regulation and innovation is a delicate balancing act. Insufficient regulation risks public safety, while excessive regulation could stifle innovation. As GPT-4's future hangs in the balance, we'll keep you updated on the FTC's response and the ongoing debate surrounding AI regulation. 
Facial recognition firm Clearview AI is facing scrutiny for running nearly a million searches for U.S. police. The company's technology allows law enforcement to upload a photo of a suspect's face and find matches in a massive database of billions of images scraped from platforms like Facebook, all without users' permission. Damn, it's Clear crazy. Clear AI scrapped 30 billion images from Facebook and other social media sites and gave them to cops. Oh my God. Yeah, puts them into a stuff. perpetual police lineup. Oh, so no more of so that. They're AI not in the system. They're is, not in the system. Look at that. 30 billion images from Facebook and social media sites what? and gave them to police. So now they have your name and your face. So if you have a fake ID, if you, you know, you get pulled over, they know exactly who you are. Clearview AI's controversial practices have led to millions in fines across Europe and Australia for breaches of privacy. However, U.S. police continue to use the company's powerful software. Matthew Gariglia from the Electronic Frontier Foundation warns that police use of Clearview puts everyone into a perpetual police lineup. Although facial recognition is often promoted as a tool for serious or violent crimes, Miami police confirmed to the BBC that they use Clearview AI software for every type of crime. Miami's assistant chief of police, Armando Aguilar, said his team used Clearview AI's system about 450 times a year, and it had helped solve several murders. Despite its potential usefulness, facial recognition technology has led to numerous cases of mistaken identity. One example is Robert Williams, who was wrongfully arrested and held overnight in a crowded and filthy cell. Kate Ruane from the ACLU points out that facial recognition's alarming inaccuracy rates, especially for people of color, pose significant dangers. The lack of transparency surrounding police use of facial recognition technology means the true number of wrongful arrests it has led to is likely far higher. Civil rights campaigners are calling for police forces using Clearview AI to disclose when the technology is used and for its accuracy to be openly tested in court. They also want the systems to be scrutinized by independent experts. The use of facial recognition technology by police is a contentious issue. While it may help solve crimes, it also poses a threat to civil liberties and privacy. Striking a balance between utilizing technology to fight crime and preserving individual rights is crucial to avoid crossing ethical boundaries. And that wraps up another insightful episode of the AI Spot. We covered some crucial topics today, including the widespread use of Clearview AI's facial recognition tech by U.S. police, the AI think tank filing a complaint against OpenAI's GPT-4, and the pros and cons of chat GPT in the realm of cybersecurity. As always, we'd love to hear your thoughts on these subjects, so make sure to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications, so you never miss out on the latest AI developments and discussions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the